this myth is you hear all the time is that atoms are largely empty space. And so consequently, we are largely empty space. And this is kind of how I've been looking at the world. So again, maybe this is the best way to ask the question. Why is this intuition? Well, maybe it's not an intuition. Why is this factoid out there or this myth out there? And then why is it wrong? Well, it's out there because people don't really deep in their bones want to accept quantum mechanics. <laughs> they want to think of the electron as a little dot that is orbiting around the nucleus of an atom like the Earth orbits around the sun. If you pressed them, they would say, oh, no, of course, I don't believe that. But that's exactly what they believe if they're saying that elect- that atoms are mostly empty space. They just mean this in the same way they mean the solar system is mostly empty space. But the solar system is not like an atom. The solar system would not make a solid if you put many, many solar systems together. It would just squish down, right? Mm -hmm. Atoms are different. And the reason why atoms are different is because electrons are not little dots. They are wave functions. And those wave functions take up space. And that's what makes matter solid. Okay. And again, when, when we're saying that electrons are wave functions, this is, this is us speaking figuratively, maybe in the, the second dimension, because one, we've already said that there's only one wave function. And then two, electrons on this quantum field theoretic picture are just fluctuations in fields. So there's only, yeah. there's, okay. So both of the, all of that is true and all of it is fine. So this is one of the things that makes learning physics very, very hard Be that we say, okay, if you're really, really rigorous and careful, you have to speak this way. But then on the very next page, you're like, we're not going to be rigorous and careful. We're going <laughs> we're to talk in ways that makes our life easy. So yes, electrons are really vibrations in the electron field. Uh, but okay, once you've learned that, you're allowed to talk about electrons now. You don't have to keep saying that motto over and over and over again. You've understood what electrons are, but there are electrons. And number two, yes, there's only one wave function, but in very wide varieties of circumstances, it makes perfect sense to talk about things as if they are separate things, like the table in front of me and the coffee mug in front of me. These are two separate things. It's true that deep down in quantum mechanics, they are described by the same wave function, but come on, you're not going to stop me from talking about them as two separate things. <laughs>